In the future, entertainment will be randomly generated. Randomly generated? Randomly generated. What better way to achieve the unexpected? I've seen the future, Bob, and the future is autotainment. The future is now. I want to make YouTube content, but I don't want to put in any effort. How do I get someone else to make my content for me? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to make content. Hey, floating turtle, give me a way to generate content! Uh, okay. So in April 2020, while grumbling about COVID-19 and being rejected from five of my Reach colleges, I had the idea for an AI-run YouTuber that generated Flat Earth videos. Flat Earthers seem to be gullible enough to believe anything as long as it's not mainstream, and I thought it would be funny if those that always say to do their own research, which probably just amounts to uncritically watching Eric Dubé's level, managed to be convinced by a bot. The whole Flat Earth part of that eventually faded away, but I eventually did end up creating a bot that generates content. My first content generator bot looked like this! Lick the button, suck the nut. I like to poop my pants. Flat Earth is true and evolution is a lie. Okay, don't blame me for that audio. Blame Merrick from my Discord server. He also happens to be my little brother in real life. Fun fact, his video of Jupiter and Saturn has a bunch of dislikes from Flat Earthers, and I have no idea why. But yeah, that was actually typed out manually, so the actual content part of that content wasn't actually generated, even though the video part of the content and the audio obviously were. And here was my first attempt at generating a Flat Earth video from back in April 2020. The text was generated by doing the Disassociated Press algorithm on some Flat Earth book. Disassociated Press starts by choosing a word, then finds another word that follows the word in the text, then finds a word that follows that word in the text, and so on and so forth, creating a chain. Anyway, this is what it ended up looking like. Aberdeen and they could force a 450 light as a summer solstice 2020 so I mean it's I could debate and speculate for her how the entire field with air temperature partly accounts for this two Hollywood movies to roam with the theory falls off into deep. Yeah, it kinda sucked! So I shelved the project until July 2021! Earlier this year, I got access to GPT-3, which is a super powerful AI that can autocomplete text in a way that seems frighteningly human and accurate. For example, if you give GPT-3 once upon a time, it will be able to autocomplete that in a very human-seeming way. And what's even more fun is that this has a Python API, so it can be worked into any project written in Python. And my original video generating bot was also written in Python. So, before I show you the result, let's take a step back and look at what this video generator will do. It will first take in a text file and record audio using Google's text-to-speech algorithm, which has a simple Python library. Then, I use a keyword extractor to find the most important word or phrase in each sentence, and use that phrase to find an image to display on screen. In my earlier versions of this, I picked a random single word, which is why it liked using images of just the, but I replaced it with a much nicer keyword extracting library. Finally, using FFmpeg, everything is stitched together and music is added. I also did some zooming on each image to give the video some motion. The zooming kinda distorts the images, but I don't really feel bothered to fix it. And now, I just have to feed the generator a text file. It will then turn my text file into video. Hooray! Isn't this great? Forget text to speech. Text to video is where it's at. Turtle 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 turtle. The 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 Well, I don't want to write my own scripts. Have the computer generate scripts for me! And this is where GPT-3 comes in. At this point, I had to come up with a topic for my AI run channel. I originally wanted to do Flat Earth again, but funnily enough, Every time I wanted GPT-3 to generate a Flat Earth script, it would instead prove the Earth is a globe. I guess the bot has a gag reflex when it comes to being an idiot. It also has a content filter, which makes sense. You think conspiracy nuts are bad? Just wait until the conspiracy nuts start being randomly generated. But anyway, the new channel is about dinosaurs! 
Yes, I was working on Time Will Tell and the Video AI at the same time, why do you ask? So, all I need to write for a Dino World video is the intro. Every fourth Dino World video will be an opinion video, and the rest of the content will be educational content. But, without further ado, here's a Dino World video! Welcome back to Dino World. Your totally non-AI run source for videos about dinosaurs and other prehistoric life. Now on with today's video. Today's video is about a dinosaur called the Albertosaurus. It was a carnivore, and it lived in what is now Alberta, Canada. It was about 30 feet long, and weighed around 3 tons. Albertosaurus had a very long skull with many sharp teeth. It also had powerful jaws that could crush bones. Its legs were long and strong, and its large claws were perfect for tearing flesh from its prey. Albertosaurus probably hunted in packs to take down big prey like Triceratops or Edmontosaurus. It may have even hunted in groups of up to 10 Albertosaurus at a time. That would be pretty scary. So, minus the weird distortion and the TTS voice, it actually feels like a human-made video. Not too bad, especially since this is an amateur project. Now all I need to do is upload the video through the YouTube API, and... Great. Blocked. Well, this brings me to a fun story about trying to get my usage of the API verified by Google. This was fun. So after the video failed to upload, I submitted a somewhat painfully long audit form to Google. It required some things I don't have, like an entire company. How many people will be using this app? Uh, one. Just one. Yes, I know this is to block spam, but really it's kind of annoying. So a few days later I get an email saying they were done with the review. Great, now all I need to do is go run this again and... So I filled out the form again, this time with more detail, and also probably in a more annoyed tone. I also tweeted at YouTube about it. But eventually I got access to uploading through the API, after about a week. I can't complain though since usually it takes way longer. But there's one thing these videos are missing. Um, a purpose? Yeah, that, but also titles and descriptions! A cool thing that GPT-3 can do is recognize patterns, so I can give it a video transcript and a title, and then have it generate a title for a different video transcript. Using this, I was able to title my entire catalog of video scripts before even recording them. But why stop there? I could phase out the regular keyword extractor and replace it with a GPT-3-based search generator. So I did. Unfortunately, GPT-3 also costs money to use, so for the descriptions, I just went for a summarizing library instead. But anyway, now I've got a little YouTube channel that's run by a bot. If you want to check it out, a link is in the description. FINALLY! FREE CONTENT! <laughs> Calm down, boss. The content kinda sucks. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!